in an election there are three candidates a b and c 10% of the eligible voters did not vote out of those who voted 45% voted for a 35% voted for b and remaining 20% voted for c 30% of the votes polled for a and 20% of the votes polled for b were later deemed invalid while all the votes polled for c were deemed valid if a got 882 more valid votes than b did how many valid votes did c receive so in this question let's assume that the total number of votes were 100x so if total number of votes were 100x 10% of the eligible voters did not vote the so total votes then become 100x minus 10% that is 90x out of this 90x people voted for a b and c 45% voted for a 35% voted for b and 20% of them voted for c now out of these people 30% of a's votes were deemed invalid that means 70% is still valid 70% of 45 is 31.5% 20% of b's votes are invalid so that means 80% is still valid 80% of b's votes are still valid so 80% of 35% is 28% now all the votes of c are valid that is 100% is valid so 20% now the difference between the votes a received and b received is equal to 3.5% now according to the question a got 882 more valid votes than b did that means 3.5 percent is equal to 882 now from here we can get the value of 100% which is 882 divided by 3.5 in 200 now in order to remove the point we can just add the zero on top so on dividing by 5 we get 1764 and here we get 7 on dividing by 7 we get 252 So the total number of valid votes equals to twenty-five thousand and two hundred. Now next, we are asked to find how many valid votes did C receive. So share of C's valid votes will be twenty percent of twenty-five thousand two hundred. Zero gets cancelled. So two fifty-two into twenty gives us five zero four zero number of votes. So the answer to this question is option. B that is five thousand and forty.